everyone, it is your girl Victoria and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we're going to talk about saving money. Now sometimes you are going to need to invest in order to save money because some products will eventually pay for themselves in the long run. And I also thought I might as well air out my dirty laundry. And when I'm talking about that, I mean show you a portable washer and dryer I recently invested in. Now, I really do love this product. It's great for apartments, RVs, and even college campuses because it is a portable size and it's not gonna take up a whole lot of room. So on to the video. Okay, you guys, so this is the washer and dryer that I was talking about. Well, this is actually the box. And we are just going to open it up and see what is on the inside. So this is how the washer and dryer looks. As you guys can see, it's pretty big. Um, let me take it off the... So this is the washer and dryer, you guys. As you all can see, it's actually pretty nice. Um, the only thing I just don't like is that it's white, but you know, you can't help it sometimes. You can open up. This part is the washer. It's pretty deep in here. And on the inside of it, it does have a little filter that will collect all the um, lint when it washes. You just gotta make sure you clean it out. Um, I believe they said uh, after every time you use it, as you guys can see, there is no agitator, just this little thing down here. And it's actually pretty deep. I can almost fit my whole arm into this. Moving on to this other side is the spinner. It comes with the lid. And the inside we have our tube to connect to our water inlet. instructions which I know I'm not going to be reading because this is kind of self-explanatory and last but not least this little plastic lid when you're done washing your clothes and you're ready to spin dry you just put your clothes in here and then you're supposed to push it down and make sure that the clothes are in the middle so your machine is not rocking back and forth at the top you do have a water inlet this is where you're going to take that tube and connect this to your kitchen faucet to collect water on this side. Now this is the wash time. It does go in threes. So three, six, nine, 12, and the max is 15. And then if you need to completely shut it off, you just take your timer and twist it all the way and it'll automatically stop the machine. The middle knob, it's going to have soft, normal, and drain. So the normal is for your normal clothes like t-shirts, jeans, anything like that. And then just switch it over to soft. That'll take care of all your delicates. And of course, you have drain. Now, before you use the water side, make sure it is on the normal or soft because that will stop it from draining. And last but not least, we have another water inlet. I have to read on what this side is for, I know it's for the dryer. So on the dryer side, it does have one, two, three, four, and five minutes. And if you need to stop, just like on the water side, you turn it back to zero and it'll completely stop. Okay, you guys, so as you all are seeing right now, I do have my machine on a little table. Now, the reason why I did this is because it does have a gravity drainer so you know this little tube right here you're gonna have to put it down so that way the water can drain and it does have a hook so you can hook it back up to the machine while the machine is running for a wash and you're going to need an area where you do have a plug for it that's why I'm really close to my kitchen sink so we're just going to take the plug and plug it in up here. And now we're just going to 
take the tube, put it up here. So you connect it here and then you just take this other end and you, oh. Okay, so the tube does not fit my sink as you guys can see, it's way too small. But it is okay, let me go get my shampoo hose because I know that'll definitely fit. And I should be able to bring it close enough for the washer. Okay, so I have my shampoo uh, hose that I bought from Sally's not too long ago. It is connected to my sink. And what I'm going to start off with is the darks because, you know, I am going to use bleach on my whites and I don't want it to ruin my clothes. So I'm going to save that for last. And now we're just going to turn on the water. As you guys can see, it's filling it up. Now, while this is, uh, adding water to the bucket. I'm just gonna put a little detergent in it. So I'm just gonna add a little detergent so that way I can get some type of suds starting. You don't wanna add a whole lot of soap to this because you know you don't wanna overfill your tub. Alrighty guys, now that our wash time is done, what we're going to do is we're going to take the draining hose and I'm going to put it in this little bucket right here. And we're just going to turn the knob from normal to drain. And now all that water is coming in here. Not all of this is dirty water, um, this was the darks. so you know some of the dye is going to come out of this and once I'm done draining this and putting this actually in the tub I'm going to add some more cold water to the wash and we're going to do our rinse cycle okay so as you guys can see we have fresh new water we're just going to close that down and this time instead of 15 minutes for the wash we are going to do mm, maybe about nine minutes for the rinse. Now that our rinse cycle is done, we're going to repeat like we did with the wash, two down in the bucket, and go from normal to drain. So our wet clothes are now ready to go into the spin dryer. The spin dryer is going to come with this lid. It needs to be on top when you are spinning it. And from what I've seen on the reviews, you need to make sure that the spin dryer is balanced so all the clothes can't be heavy on one side but light on the other side. It needs to be equally distributed. So I'm not going to put all the clothes in this. I'm just going to maybe put half in now and then once that's done, the other half in later.
Make sure you have your lid and you're going to push down. Lay it down. Now when doing your spin cycle, just make sure you have your tube down in your bucket and you're gonna to wanna to have this on drain. And we're gonna have the spin cycle on for five minutes. While the spin cycle is going, I do want to show you all why I said you want to wash this out after every wash is because this part back here is your lint collector and I just want to show you how much lint it collected and it's easy to take it out. You're just going to pop this out and then just clean this out and then you're going to put it back on here and then just pop it back in there okay so now that our spin cycle is done I'm just going to pull it out lift the plastic part so it's not that bad my um, clothes are about 75% mm, ish dry so what I am going to do is I'm just going to put these on my clothing rack to allow them to finish drying which shouldn't take long maybe about an hour all right everyone now that it's been a day later for me washing clothes the reason why I'm saying a day is because I had more laundry than normal and so I just wanted to get everything done but here's one of my racks that I have my clothes drying on these are basically dry and the washer and dryer did hold up very nicely now there is one more thing I wanted to show you all on how I am saving some money and that is buying a handheld steamer now um, when using the steamer you do have to make sure you don't put your hands right here because of course that's where the hot steam is going to come out but this does have a detachable brush to help straighten out all your wrinkles and you can get this off of Amazon and I just wanted to show you all um, a demonstration on how well this product is now with this steamer you also will need to have distilled water it does not take regular tap water our steamer is ready to go I'm just taking one of my mom's shirts and I'm gonna spray it with this downy wrinkle release I love the way how this smells and it just helps me get rid of wrinkles in an easier way. So I'm just going to lightly mist this shirt. We're gonna take our steamer and just go up and down, removing all the wrinkles. Now what I also like about using a steamer is that it's multiple ways you can use this. Um, what I normally like to do is keep it at a safe distance away from my face and I will use it as a humidifier or sometimes I'll use it in my hair to refresh my hairstyles in the middle of the week. Now this isn't my everyday normal thing but if I know I'm going to be wearing a shirt or my mom's going to be wearing a shirt the night before I'll just use it just to help give it a little extra boost. Now you all can see some of the wrinkles are gone uh, the steamer did have a couple of wet spots, but it's okay. It's just water. It'll dry up with no issues. I hope this video convinced you to purchase one of your own. I really do love it. Now, I just want to let you know the pros of this product is the fact that it is compact and portable. I have the convenience of being able to wash my clothes whenever I want. And the fact that it doesn't really take use a whole lot of water. Now the cons about this is that one, it is a spin dryer, which means you're not going to get the same effect like you would a regular dryer with the heat. So that is why my clothes are hanging up. Another thing is, is the fact that you do have to manually drain it. So be sure, like I had in the video, to have a bucket along with you. 
and the fact that I can only do small loads at a time. But does this mean that I 100% got rid of using a laundromat? Unfortunately, no, because you also can't put your winter jackets and big comforters in these machines. So I still will need to use it in the long run. Hopefully you guys have a good day. Make sure you subscribe for more content and I will see you all again soon. Bye.